So welcome back to the Revit project tutorials. Uh, now in this next tutorial we'll be looking at importing a survey drawing into our model and uh, reorientating the north. Now one of the first steps in constructing a building model in Revit is constructing a site model. Although not critical to the creation of a building model, it is useful as a design tool and serves to produce more readable elevations, sections and 3D views. For this reason, it is usually worthwhile to spend the time to make a site model, even if it's only a basic one. Like all objects in Revit, it can easily be edited later. Uh, now in most cases, the site model will be based upon an existing drawing, usually in AutoCAD uh, format or um, a DXF format. Now this part of the tutorial will deal with the most common situation where your uh, surveyor or engineer would give you a 2D flat DXF file containing the survey data. Now this is simply a 2D CAD drawing and will require the manual creation of contour points in Revit. So uh, let's start with importing the survey drawing. Now if you haven't uh, downloaded the survey drawing yet, uh, you'd need to make sure you download it before you start this project. Now before we import the survey drawing into our model, um, we'll need to change the view that we're in. So at the moment we're on the ground floor. Um, we'll need to change it to a site level so it's appropriate. If you scroll down in the project browser to something called site, double click it so it's bold, um, that will make the site level current. Now to import the survey drawing we need to go to the insert tab, uh, import CAD tool, um, and you'll need to navigate towards the location of your survey drawing. Um, there's my DXF file, now if you can't see it, you may need to change the files of type to DXF. Now before you press open, we're just going to change a couple of settings. And uh, I've already got mine changed, but the first one you'll need to change is the import units. Um, it might be on auto detect, uh, make sure you change it to meter. Um, the reason for this is the survey is actually drawn in meters and we want Revit to be able to uh, recognize the importing uh, units. Now we also want the survey to be viewed just in the site level so we don't want it to appear um, on all of our other floor plans. So you need to make sure that the current view only option is actually checked. Then press open. So you should see the survey drawing right in the middle of the screen. You can go to uh, zoom to fit or zoom all to fit to see the extents of the uh, survey drawing. Now because our survey drawing has a north point and it's over there in the corner, so north is pointing that way, uh, we can use this to establish what the real world orientation is uh, for our project. And so the next thing we'll do is go through the steps of establishing uh, true north um, and then I'll quickly explain uh, what it all means. Now the only things you need to know at the moment is that every project has a project north which is up the page uh, and a true north which is uh, the geographic concept of orientation that determines uh, along with the latitude and longitude uh, the uh, direction of the sun. Now it's probably best to establish true north early in the project before you have any buildings on the site. But if you haven't done that, you can very easily establish it a little bit later. Now before we start rotating the north values, we need to change our view orientation to true north. And we do that by first making sure that we're on the site level and up here in the properties palette scroll down until you see something called orientation. Now within this um, orientation field you'll see something called Project North. If you click inside it, there should be a drop down list and underneath it is something called True North. So click on the True North um, so it's active. 
Now you shouldn't see any change to the drawing at all. That's because we haven't done anything to True North yet. So Revit thinks that True North and Project North are the same, which is up the page. Now before we rotate True North, we need to make sure our location is correct. And we can do that by going to the Manage tab under the Project Location panel, clicking on the first tool called Location. Just need to make sure our geographic location is appropriate. So the site is in New South Wales, Australia. So just make sure you have a town in New South Wales uh, specified as your project address. Now to rotate the True North, we need to go to uh, the same tab, the Manage tab, and the Project Location panel. But this time the third tool in there, so the Position tool. Now click on the arrow right next to it and select the Rotate True North option. Now this is a little bit tricky so make sure you pay attention. Um, you will find right in the middle of that drawing a line which follows your cursor um, and attached to your cursor is a, an arrow um, in the shape of a circle. Now at the end of the line, right in the middle of the drawing, you'll see a blue circle. So there it is there. So you can uh, scroll in and out with your mouse while you're looking at this. Now you need to left click on that blue circle and keep your finger on the mouse, so don't let go, and drag the mouse to the end point of your north point. So make sure the snap point actually comes up, like so and then release so you should see the blue circle at the end of the north point like that. Your second point would be the other end uh, of that line so making sure that the end point comes up select it and then the third point is directly up the page because we want to tell Revit that uh, we want to rotate the true north uh, to be uh, corresponding with the project north um, which would be up the page so just move your mouse until it snaps directly vertical. Make sure you're snapping, uh, you're not snapping to any other line, and then click for your third click. And you should see the drawing uh, rotate like this. Now just zoom quickly into the north symbol again, and that north symbol should be directly up the page. Now this is our true north uh, view. Um, now to bring it back into our Project North so we can uh, work off it, you need to go back to the Properties palette in the Orientation field again and click on Project North. And you should see your drawing revert back to the usual view. Now just to quickly summarize what we did. Um, now when we open a new project, uh, Revit automatically thinks that Project North and True North are the same uh, and that's generally up the page. Uh, now when we imported the survey drawing, we do have a north point for our survey drawing um, and that's in a different direction. Uh, that direction represents our real world orientation. Now we would like Revit to know that our project north is up the page, that's how we'd like to work, but our true north, our real world orientation, is actually somewhere else. So the first thing we did was change our uh, view orientation to True North uh, and you do that over in the Project Palette um, and then rotated True North so that Revit knew where our real world orientation was and that's how we got that uh, rotated view and then of course uh, we just change our view back to Project North so that we can continue uh, with building our design. Now hopefully that all makes sense uh, but anyway, you have uh, rotated your true north, uh, you've got your survey drawing. Um, we're ready to take the next step, uh, which is to surface our contours and start to build our context.